Welcome back to the channel. In the last episode we were parked up at Crow Link and we took a walk along the cliffs of the South Downs National Park. We were meant to show you hot dogs with sweet and sour peppers and onions but we didn't have any oil so we never got to cook it. So I'm going to show you a similar recipe that we did at home. The pan's nice and hot so I'm in with some avocado oil. Now I'm adding some skinned pre-cooked sausages. Black pepper and salt. Set them aside whilst we cook the onions and peppers. Salt and pepper, a spoon of sugar and some red wine vinegar. Now return the sausages to the pan and mix well. If it gets too dry, just add a little bit of water to the consistency that you want. And then they're ready to be served. There's a massive traffic jam up ahead and several police cars have gone flying past. Luckily, we just happen to be next to one of our favorite places, so we're on our way up to Fell Beacon now. Have a cup of tea up there and see what happens. Now quite a few people ask, how do I get these shots? Well, I'm sitting in the front passenger seat flying the drone. And as long as you can maintain eye contact with the drone, it's fine. But you do have to work out where you're gonna to stop to launch it and where you're going to stop to land it. This is where we spent our first ever night camping in the van. It's a beautiful day today, plenty of people out and about, which is nice to see. Quite a few other vans here today, very popular spot for a bit of wild camping and of course people come to access these beautiful South Downs where you can literally walk for miles in both directions. New people are turning up all the time and I think I recognise this chap as a doctor I used to see. In the distance is the Ouse River and the town of New Haven. The huge wind turbine is on the Glyndebourne estate and the Glyndebourne Opera House is at about the five o'clock position from it. Okay, I think it's time to get the lunch on. For day trips, we don't bother to fill up the water tank and just use this container. I do. Hiya. We're having meatballs and pasta today. We had some meat left over and so this morning at home I cooked up the meatballs first. A train from Eastbourne is on its way to Lewis. I wonder how many people are on that one. This dog's owner is on a phone call and it's been sat there patiently waiting for its ball to be thrown. People watching, it's one of the great pleasures of life. And of course, I used to do a lot of that in my work. The 
lots of different people were sitting on this bench whilst we were here today. The phone call has finished and it's now playtime for the black dog. New arrivals on the bench and this time it's a picnic. We wouldn't normally have fresh herbs in the camper as these were left over from last night. We put these in and lunch is then ready. To alleviate the boredom of lockdown, I bought one of Gordon Ramsay's cooking courses. And this is Carol trying chicken in masala wine sauce for the first time. This vegetable is chicory and I don't think we've ever had it before. It's the 4th of April and it's an exciting day today because we're meeting up with some fellow YouTubers. Oh, it's just oh, fallen on the floor. Oh. Hello, it's not gone very well. Can we have a cloth that you never want to use ever again? <laughs> <laughs> we are Alan and Saj. Wander with us as we head off grid in our converted van to explore the world. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is the last episode of season one. Last episode. Episode 16 or something crazy like that. It's been so much fun. Um, we're just getting ready to go now. As most of you know, we've been living on the side of the road in the southeast of England for the whole of lockdown. All these 11 and a half weeks. 11 and a half weeks. But we are getting ready to go. Yay. Lockdown is lifting. We're going to be moving on. Yeah. Now we've been watching Alan and Saj for quite some time as they built out their van and then moved out of their home. We like watching them because they're so down to earth and very easy to watch. It's always a bit nerve wracking meeting up with people you see on YouTube. You don't know what they're really like in real life. And I'm sure they're feeling exactly the same about meeting us. We're meeting them for a socially distanced walk at Arding Lai Reservoir. Is that them? That's them. Yeah. 
Now there's no audio of our meeting because you can't really have a good conversation when you're recording each other. So our meeting was private just between us. But fair to say we spent a lot of time talking about what it's like to live in vans and also what it's like to produce content for public consumption on YouTube. We certainly recommend checking out Running Off Grid and if you do, leave them a comment and say we sent you. Alan and Saj, we had a lovely time meeting you both. You're down to earth and just like you are in the videos. And that's the best thing I can ever say about any YouTuber. Enjoy your van life and we'll certainly be following your continuing adventures in season two. I think I've become a coffee snob. Once upon a time, that was all I needed for a cup of coffee. Instant. And it tasted okay and I was happy with it. Then I started watching all these people on YouTube having real coffee and I thought, what a faff. But I was intrigued and so I tried some coffee which uh, I got from this company called Pact. And I used the simplest method possible to make it, which was one of these, um, which is a dripper. So you just put the coffee in there and it drips through. And I was struck with how much nicer that coffee actually was. So we've moved on from this now and I've succumbed to what most people seem to end up doing and buying an AeroPress. And then the final thing I've added to the mix is one of these, to grind our own coffee beans. And to be honest, I'm no connoisseur. I don't notice a great difference between the flavor of coffee freshly ground and the stuff that we buy already ground in this pack. Anyway, time for my morning cup of coffee. So I've got to use this up before I start grinding the beans we bought. Shake it till it's level. Let me just wait a minute now for a brew. Hi. Hi. Cheers. Hi. Cheers, Maddie. Thanks. Are you making coffee? Yeah, I was, yeah. Ah. <laughs> I've got um, a different, I've got lots of things with coffee and tea. Yeah. But I've got one that's just a little, goes in container, like, um, like a filter, like a tea filter. Yeah. But then you have a top on it and a, a holder. I just leave that in the hole, that's it. Yeah, yeah, I think that there's so many ways you can do it. <laughs> what you got? My new boots have just arrived. Ah, these are the ones that Saj recommended. Yeah, I got them from Decathlon yeah. on a recommendation from Saj. So I'd like to say a big thank you for recommending them. They're just what I wanted, perfect. You're not going to get farther, are you? Because they're tied together. Well, I haven't taken the labels off yet. No, I will get cracking. Well, a perfect day. You're going to try them when you're going out with your sisters? Yeah. I'll be going out to Wakehurst today, so wear them today for my walk. Okie dokie. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give us a like and join us next time for more adventures in the Little Red Camper when we should be back on the road.